you can barely see me. But it's September 26th. It's 3.30 in the morning and my water just broke. I'm on my way to the car now. Y'all, what about that baby? All right, it's 4.10. I'm just arriving at the hospital. My contractions are five minutes apart. I'm hurting so, so, so bad. So I know it's about to be time to push y'all. <sighs> so I'll see y'all in a minute. guys so he's here he was born at 7 22 a.m um i was hurting i'm still in a little bit of pain it took my IV out but i'm getting better he's doing good he's doing great he ate already and we're about to be moved to another room so when we go to another room i'll see you guys there What's up guys? So they moved me to another room. I'm gonna show you guys. Coco's on the TV. Baby's in the nursery right now. I'm freaking starving. And yeah, that's what's going on. I'm about to go to the vending machine. Nate's about to go to the vending machine. Can somebody cash out me. <laughs> no, pay Nate 29. Anyway. Link below in the description. I'm finna eat something. Yeah, let's do it. I'm finna eat something and I'm waiting for them to bring my baby back. He's been breastfeeding really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what I've been having to deal with. I'm literally in labor <laughs> and this man is like, oh, let me see your phone right quick. Let me call your brother. Oh, let me, let me do this. Let me do that. Um, do you oh. want me, do you want me to make Joseph take your mind off of this? I'm having, I'm having a baby. Hey, I this has that. been him the whole time. Right, I'm going, I'm going. But everything's been going very, very well. I'm doing good. I see my stomach went down a little bit, you know. But I'm doing good. Baby's doing good. His temperature was low at first, but it's raised back up. So, yeah. We just chilling hopefully we get to go home tomorrow i'm just really excited to take my baby home he's so little guys he's six pounds no ounces six pounds even 19 inches so he's a pretty good size um he's born at 38 weeks so he's a pretty good size and that's why his temperature was low but like i said he got it up and we're doing good so i'm gonna show you guys the room and we're just gonna finish out the night. So this is the new room. This is where Nate is gonna sleep. Our bags. Of course, where I am. And then the bathroom has a shower, toilet, and another gown if I need it. So yeah, guys, this is not as big as the room that I delivered in, but it's a good size, and I like the fact that it has a window because I don't like just sitting in the dark all day. So this is where we are. Guys, they brought him back to me. He's sleeping so good right now. This is his first time all day actually sleeping in this bassinet thing, so I really hope this lasts so I can get me some sleep. So my nurse doesn't have to come back in until 12 and then 4, so I'm going to try my best to get some sleep right now and i'll see you guys in the morning good morning y'all i'm looking crazy we had a long night <sighs> baby just wasn't wasn't trying to let up on the boob y'all he did not want to let the boob go so we finally got him a pacifier 
I was trying not to give him one, but he had to get one because he would not go to sleep without having a boob in his mouth. And they won't let me sleep with him in the bed. So I wasn't able to get any sleep. So we finally got him a pacifier. And he's been doing good with the pacifier. And I finally was able to get a little bit of sleep. They just took him just now um, for his pediatrician to examine him. And then uh, they're going to bring him back. And right now I'm eating some potatoes and getting some fluids in because I know when he gets back, he's going to want to eat. It is almost 8 o'clock right now. So it's really, really early in the morning. So I'm hoping after he eats, we can get some more rest because mommy is tired. But I'll see you guys later on. They brought him back to me, guys. I just brushed his hair. And he just finished eating. So he's trying to get some rest right now. As you can see, he's not in the bassinet. That's his ear exam. He passed that and his heart exam. So he's doing great. So we should be going home soon. What's up, y'all? So nothing interesting really happened today other than baby got circumcised. He's oh, been wow. very tired after that because they gave him some Tylenol. So he hasn't really been too energetic. I've been able to get some sleep. He's been able to get some sleep, and we just been and Daddy hasn't, yay. feeding periodically. Daddy said he hasn't gotten any sleep, but that was by choice, y'all, because... No. He could have been asleep. <sighs> oh, he chose not to because he just want to yeah, hold... Yeah, everybody chooses no sleep. He just want to hold the baby the whole time. He don't want to let him lay down by himself. Right now, oh dang, we filling our papers. I messed up, and baby's about to go to the nursery so we can go get his birth certificate, and then we should be going home tomorrow, hopefully. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, y'all. We're going home today, so excited to finally be able to take my baby home so Jackson can meet his little brother and today is National Sons Day so isn't this a great day for them to be meeting each other in person for the first time they haven't discharged me yet I'm about to get myself together get dressed and everything because we have a few things we got to do before we leave I'm still tired, but I'm not as tired. I was able to get some sleep, so I'm ready to see how today goes. Ready to get home and get adjusted, so I'll see you guys later on. All right, y'all, so me and baby are all dressed up, ready to go now. We both got on these little, I don't know what you're calling because they're Velvet. Both got on these velvet suits. And he is a little bit too little for his heels. But it's okay. We're just waiting for them to discharge us now. So we can take him to go meet his brother. You ready to go meet your brother? So we'll see you guys when it's time for us to go. All right, guys, so the room is all clean. Baby's in his car seat. We've been discharged, and we're about to head out. So I'm going to end the vlog here. We are going home, and our next vlog will be our first week at the house. So see you guys really soon.